welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be decorating for fall. I know it's just turning September. I'm posting this on the last day of August, but just know I bought this stuff like two weeks ago and I've been decorating ever since. Fall time is my favorite time of year. I know my birthday's in August, but deep down inside, I feel like I should have been born in the fall time, but the zodiacs just don't align with me. And I love being able to wear cozy sweaters, big t-shirts, it's just, it's just everything. I never really decorated to the full extent that I wanted to, whether it's at my mom's house or my dad's house, but now that I have my own place, I decided to make the executive decision to fallify my place because this place is my own and I just wanted to be able to make every aspect of it my own. I really wanted to be able to come in, relax, and love where I live. And honestly, I don't go out much. I'm very much a homebody, so the atmosphere around me is really important to me and I wanted to cultivate that in the best way that I could. So I fallified my place. I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I'm still thinking of getting like one or two more pieces. This video is going to be showing you mainly what I got. I don't plan on getting anything too big or too altering to the decor. Maybe a pillow here or there, but that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get to decorating. So I actually ended up starting with some regular decor. If you guys have been following this moving series, you would know that I have had these two pictures um, just sitting on my floor for the past couple of months. Um, when I first moved, I kind of just took all of the essentials and now I'm starting to find pieces that I want to have as decor. This is not necessarily a fall decor, just a staple decor in my apartment so these two pictures are from homery i believe that's how you pronounce it dot com they were fairly affordable i think for both of these it was a hundred dollars or less so i hung those up i also ended up hanging up finally you guys this has been on the floor for a very long time this is a picture of the skyline of los angeles in black and white and it is from wayfair I've been meaning to hang that up over my desk and it is perfect right there. So now we're getting into the fall decor. I got these pine cones from Michaels. Who knew Michaels had such good fall decor? I was shook when I was walking in there, okay? They had so much stuff on sale too. This is not sponsored. I wish it was, honestly. These pine cones were like three or four dollars and they're scented. They smell so good. So I just decided to use them as some vase filler. Okay, these are another type of vase filler. This is by the Threshold brand from Target. I actually ended up getting a deal on these because the package was opened in the store and the cashier told me that I could have a discount. So I ended up getting them for $5. They're normally 10. They do sell them online as well. And I just thought that the pattern and the textures were so fall. So I picked them up. If you can see on my counter, there is like a regular, I don't even know what to call it, like twig ball type of filler those actually came with my original moss filler that you guys normally see in the background of my videos that's kind of like a staple decor item for me but i just wanted to add these for the fall season <music> The next item of decor is something that I've been holding on to for an extremely long time and it is this white pumpkin. I have two of them. These are also from Target, but I would be lying if I told you that these were new. Um, I got these about a year or two ago, y'all know me. So I think it was 10 or $20 each. Um, this fake foliage is also from Target recently. I got it a couple of weeks ago. It's by The Hearth and Hand. Um, brand and I believe it was around 30 bucks this pumpkin right here I think is from home sense and so is that one right there I am in love with them but we will be talking about those later because they are going in a different part of the house moving on to the bookshelf I really wanted to put this on the TV stand but I have not hung my TV yet so we will save that for Christmas this garland is from Michaels it was on sale for I think ten dollars um, I also have that shelf right there I think I got that from Amazon a minute ago that pumpkin is from home sense candle is from home goods and that is the bookshelf you guys I'm in love now we just have this <laughs> another pumpkin y'all I got this uh, about a year or two ago as well when I was buying the other white pumpkins in the kitchen this is actually like a dish so I'm gonna use it for candy 
um, and then I also put the little vase of the pine cones in the corner along with just a fall candle from Bath and Body Works um, I change the candles out depending on what I'm burning in the house and that is the vibe for the bar cart this is the second pumpkin I was talking about. I just put that in front of my salt and pepper shakers. Um, I got this candle from HomeSense, I believe. It's like a pumpkin apple sort of vibe. It wasn't the most vibrant. So you can see in this next clip, I actually ended up switching it to uh, White Pumpkin by Bath & Body Works. I got these dish towels from Home Goods, y'all. They're little tiny pumpkins, so cute. And um, yeah. <music> wooden art from Homery. I actually am deciding to make this like a permanent part of my decor. So I ended up finding this cross. I went to a place called Hobby Lobby. I've never been to a Hobby Lobby in my life and it was quite literally the best experience ever. It was such a nice store. It was so huge. They had so much decor. I cannot wait to go back. But for now, I just picked up this cross for my home. But best believe I will be back during Christmas time because their selection is insane. <music> Moving on to my bedroom, I got these two pillows from Home Goods. Um, I love the color, girl. I'm a burnt orange girly, so I got these. It was a two pack for $25, you guys. I love Home Goods. I get everything from there. This pumpkin is from Home Goods, <laughs> and the lighter one on the other nightstand is from Home Sense. Um, I do usually end up going to Home Goods instead of Home Sense, mostly because I have more Home Goods in my area. But this is the final situation for the bedroom. Let me know if I should put anything else in here. I'm kind of deciding. But I actually found another thing at Hobby Lobby, you guys. Um, I found this little canvas situation so so cute all brands that i am dreaming of owning starting at the top with louis vuitton that's my girly so i really love this canvas i love that it's simplistic like that and hobby lobby for the win i i'm telling y'all i'm going back for christmas time um i got this little fake foliage from home goods um really love the color the burnt orange again we live i got that little tray that i'm feeling right now also from home goods i wasn't planning on getting one but it was literally out of place and it was only 13 dollars. so i picked it up um i was needing a tray for my bathroom and i love 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 the display and storage of all of my like just normal necessities that i would not want to take the time to use otherwise if they were stored elsewhere which they were previously before getting this tray i had a tinier tinier add a smaller tray but it just wasn't the vibe it wasn't the aesthetic i really like the look of this one better and it was on sale and y'all know i can't resist the sale so i picked it up got my pink balls if y'all saw my birthday haul you know if you know you know and um my ordinary stuff from that birthday haul as well just everything so i can be persuaded to use it more often finished outcome you guys this is everything that i ended up decorating in my apartment i did a couple of shots so you guys could see everything up close and personal i really love the way everything turned out surprisingly i'm like oddly obsessed with the bathroom i love the foliage in there it's everything and that's like the least decorated part of the house um i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had so much fun making it and shout out to Brianna Fox. She is the inspiration on filming the way that I filmed and editing the way that I edited. I just love her home videos. Anything she does with home decor, 
I am tuned in, I'm blocked in, and she is the reason for me going all out this fall. Um, normally, like I said in the beginning, I don't really decorate anything, but I was watching a fall decor video from I think a year or two ago. It popped up on my recommended, and I was totally inspired, and I just went completely insane inside of every single craft store ever. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.